to be the next headlines category. Governor Snyder says time is running out for Lansing to vote on Detroit's bankruptcy money. A ruling is expected any day from Judge Bernard Friedman on gay marriage. County clerks around the state are getting ready to issue marriage licenses. And of course, Michigan, Michigan <laughs> State are playing in the NCAA tournament. So um, before we get to that, let's first talk about the governor saying, look, if the legislature doesn't act, by about May for that $350 million, um, basically to, to bail out Detroit. He doesn't think it's gonna it's gonna. Well, happen. I mean, that, and I, I think that the, the pension funds are playing a game of Russian roulette here. I doubt the lawmakers are gonna vote to support this money, to give this funding, until they see that the pension funds are willing to take the deal. And the pension funds keep thinking there's some something gonna come along and save them from the sacrifice that's being asked of them in this bankruptcy. It's not coming, and it could get a lot of worse if that 800 and some million, billion, million dollars dries up. So I don't think Lansing's going to act until the pension funds say, yeah, we'll take the deal. Yeah, but this is a bad game of timing, though, Stephen. And, and, I think and the timing is when the is that, that time going to I think start the timing is out. the thing that worries you at this point is mm -hmm. that you've got to get lots of pieces to fall into place at the same time. And we're, we're not close on a couple of them. Uh, you know, I don't know what, what the pensioners' time frame is. For determining what they're going to do, how much how much movement is there going to be in the negotiations? I mean, they're going to have to come off, I think, the position of no cuts to any anything ever. Uh, but but the question is then, what can you afford to to do? One thing I'm still looking for them to do is come up with, uh, you know, a, a tiered way of dealing with these cuts. In other words, you know, we still have people fearing that 75 year old retirees are going to get reductions in their checks. I don't think that's anybody's intention. And I actually, with the cuts that are on the table, I don't think that's necessary. It's much younger retirees uh, who, who could who could uh, who could have reductions, and I think that could change the conversation. Uh, yeah, but th that's not out there yet. Uh, but it, but I suspect that's coming. But if you look at when this process started, retirees thought there was a good chance they could lose all of their pensions. Uh, there was now you've had you've had a third party come in and put in eight hundred and twenty million dollars. Yeah. That's never that's a happens in yeah. a bankruptcy, right. and they ought to be looking at that as a. You got to see it as that. a. That's right. You can't let that money go away. Next headline that we could see, we're waiting for the ruling in, in, in gay marriage. You've got county clerks around the state at the ready should the ruling be that uh, that gay marriage can be legalized. But Bill Schutte said we've got to wait for all the appeals process to go before people can start to do that in the state of Michigan. Yeah, the judge will almost certainly stay the, the impact of the ruling as soon as he issues it to allow the appeal process to go through. This ultimately, this issue will ultimately be decided by the by the Supreme Court, whether it's the Utah case or some other case. Uh, I don't think that uh, if the judge rules this week or next, that you're going to start having legal weddings in Michigan for still quite a while. And um, you do not agree with the president. You do not believe Michigan State is going to go all the way uh, and win the no, NCAA. I wish I could, uh, I mean, I, I, after they dismantled. No, President Obama, <laughs> he, on his bracket, Michigan State's going to yeah, win. Know. After they dismantled the, the Michigan, my Michigan team uh, last weekend, I'm, that, that team looks awfully good. Now, I could never fill out a bracket with Michigan State winning the whole thing. I mean, oh, come on. Please, it's just Steven, not gonna come on. On. I don't need the money that bad. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Are you filling have? out that Quicken bracket? You're going to win the I'm video? not doing that. My, my son <laughs> filled out the Quicken bracket, and of course, he has Michigan. Well, money. if I were him, I wouldn't give you a dime of it if he wins. <laughs> all right. Okay. As we wrap up the show, we all know how important reading is in our everyday lives. We'd like to tell you about a program important to Detroit Public TV as well as religious leaders throughout out the metro area. It's called the Literary Sabbath Project and invites families of all faiths to take some time this month to read. The Religious Leaders Forum believes that reading and literacy is critical to the future of our entire community. So with just a few days left in March, it's time to find a good book. And as we wrap up tonight, we just wanted to say thank you for joining us and supporting my week. We are two years <laughs> old this week. We're a little older and wiser, but we still have a lot to learn. So make sure you tell us what you like about the show, what you don't, what you'd like to see. So we continue to be Michigan's must-watch news and political analysis show. We have enjoyed the last two years. So, gentlemen, here's to many, many more. <laughs> the right? candles are not lit. Uh, the candles are not lit, but um, <laughs> but but there you go. Which one do you want, Nolan? I'll take the chocolate one right here. Chocolate one right Come in the on, middle. Come on, man. I can't eat it for a few more weeks. What did you? I'll put it in the freezer. What is you, you give up all sugar? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> all right.
<laughs> well, thanks so much for joining us. Make sure you tell friends about My Week. Find us at myweek.org and on Facebook and Twitter. And thanks to our crew at Detroit Public Television. They work hard each and every week. So while we eat our cupcakes, we're going to leave you tonight with this video that is going viral. You guys have seen this, right? You've yes, seen the kids course. singing? These kids go to school right across the street from my That's right. The students at Detroit's Academy of Arts and Sciences singing Pharrell Williams' song, Happy. So enjoy it. And good night. Here's why, because I'm happy, happy.